Alright guys, the lock I have before you is a commando lock. It is a laminated padlock, but unlike most laminated padlocks, it's actually really well made. Even if you knock off these rib rivets, the lock won't fall apart. Even if you try to split this apart, the rivets, rivets, not rivets, that's a frog, the rivets are actually all interconnected, so breaking it that way will be hard as well. And not just that, um, it's full of a security pin similar to what you'd find in an American lock. Um, here's the key. Let's see if I can focus. This is a really old camera, so you may not be able to see, but the key's nothing crazy, but it does the job. I'm using a top of the keyway tension bar and a short hook from the Praxis kit in 15 thousandths. The keyway is wide enough that you could use a thicker uh, hook, but I like using the thinner one. So I'm not used to picking locks with a camera in the way. So let's we'll see how the how this one goes. All right, click on three. Let's see. Small click on one and a slight false set. Got another click on one. So what I'm looking for is a pretty decent false set. You'll get little false sets, but you know you're making progress and when you when you get a really nice one. Um, this is a key retaining lock and unfortunately the core is not removable so I won't be able to show you what's inside but you'll have to trust me when I say this is a an excellent lock. This is actually a lock that I recommend when, when anyone says I need a lock for my shed or you know the gym or the lock of the gym or anything like that I recommend the commando lock. Um, you can get them between 16 and 20 dollars here in the US and I'll include links in the description of this. Where are you? Alright, got a little bit more of a false set. I'm not sure if you can see that. I guess I'm not used to working around the camera so you'll have to bear with me. Yeah, I don't know how all the other guys do it. I know that, you know, some of the other guys, um, they put the camera off on the side. I may try that if if this is just too awkward for me. I may have to try putting it on the side. That's a pretty good false set. Oof. Lost my false set. All right. Let's see where we're at, see if I can set anything else. If not, I'm going to have to let off my tension just a little bit. Okay, we're going to let off one click. There you go. See that false set? I had clearly overset something. Let's see, looking for the counter rotation. Where are you? Alright, I know I'm close. I can just figure out how to work around this camera. Right, I'm going to switch to the short hook, also in the Praxis, just the 23 thousandths. Give me a little bit more peel. Where are you? You can see that false set right there. Okay. Little click on one. It's a number four, maybe. I think it's number two. <laughs> a lot of the guys will be narrating while they pick and they'll say exactly what they're feeling. There we go. I'm not as good as they are just yet, but 
hopefully that'll change. So this is the the commando lock. Um, really fun lock. It's not the hardest lock in the world, but uh, who this lock is for? If you've mastered security pins, but you aren't quite ready for some of the more advanced locks, uh, maybe if you you can open the American locks somewhat easily or somewhat regularly, and you want something a little bit harder, I'd recommend a commando lock. They're pretty cheap. Um, the keyway, if you can see that, it's slightly like the Yale keyway. Not horrible, pretty wide open nonetheless, but it's enough to make you have to work around the warding a little bit. So, this is the commando lock. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them. Um, like I said earlier, I'll include a link to Amazon as well as eBay for anyone curious about this lock and the price of it. Thank you very much for watching.